Saturday is Earth Day and one way you can celebrate is to eat food from the earth and one of my favorites is root vegetables. Today I'm going to show you a really easy way to prepare just about any root vegetable as a side dish and I've chosen sweet potatoes today and I'm going to make little nests that are baked in the oven and they get a little crispy on the outside and soft and tender on the inside. Really sweet and delicious and they're so easy to do. So before I got started prepping my sweet potato, I turned the oven to 400 degrees. That's all preheated. And then I lined a baking sheet with parchment paper, easy to clean up. And then I started to prepare my sweet potato. Now I have a spiralizer and I've been playing with it. It's really fun to use and I made these long little kind of noodle shaped sweet potato things. And if you don't have a spiralizer though, it's okay because you can also use a julienne peeler. It's, a, it's like a vegetable peeler with teeth on it. And so when you use that, you get these nice little feathery pieces of sweet potato. And if you don't have a julienne peeler, then just use the coarse side of a box grater and that works great. The only thing I would suggest is rather than making little nests on a baking sheet with these grated pieces of sweet potato, put them in muffin tins. Grease them, put them in the muffin tin and bake them that way. And those will be awesome too. So now I've got my sweet potato ready to go. I'm going to put all of this into a bowl and then just a little drizzle of olive oil and you just want enough so that when you toss it, all of the pieces will be coated with the olive oil. So I'm just gonna toss this up a little bit, just very gently. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on it. Toss it up one more time. So I'll just put a little mound of my sweet potatoes on the baking sheet. And you can make these the size you want and they'll shrink down a little bit as they bake. So make them a little bigger than what you want your, your finished sweet potato nest to look like. Now they're ready to go into the oven, 400 degrees, and it takes about 20 minutes, but just taste them and make sure that they're done the way you like them. Now, sometimes I make more than I need. I've had some left over. I just store them in the refrigerator, covered tightly, and then I put them in the oven at about 350 degrees, just long enough to heat them. Oh, they're so delicious. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. You will love these. And Earth Day is a great day to make these little sweet potato nests. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for good life 365.